Hey everyone, welcome back again to the video. So, N7 Day just happened a few days ago, so as tradition was Bioware recently, they teased some more of the new Mass Effect project. People are just calling it Mass Effect Fire for now because it's the fifth title in the series. So they did a little teaser, kind of showing, I guess, some new, some new character, I guess. So we'll show the video and then we'll kind of go on from there. As you can see here, a new character, you know, kind of gave away, now GI, or is it an engine? What do we got? Even though the, even though it's at the bottom of the screen, people will still ask Michael, myself included, as Michael Gamble, who's the executive producer on the project, here's what he said in response. So let's move fast. Yes, it's an engine. Which is surprising to me because apparently it was in, it's still in pre-production, because of Dragon Age, Dreadwolf's still not out yet, and they said that the game would remain in, production until Dragon Age release, whenever that is. Apparently it could be next year, possibly, but that game has been through development hell. And far as far as I know, you know, at least from what I've been saying, that's not the case with Mass Effect 5, whatever it's going to be called. So who knows, though, when Mass Effect will come out. I'm thinking maybe 2027, but that's just a bull prediction. I know Jeff Grubb was saying, you know, uh, 2029 at least, but... Again, maybe he's basing it off of it's going to go through reboots like Dragon Age did. So, to me, I think that was just speculation on his part. But, again, who knows? That's not what ambitions Bioware has for this project. Who knows? But, anyway, speaking of which, before we move on from Jeff, he said in response to me that they're investigating Unreal Engine 5, so it's most likely going to be on Unreal Engine 5, which makes sense because the original trilogy was on Unreal Engine 3. While... Unlike Andromeda, which was on Frostbite, and as we all know, Frostbite is notoriously difficult to work with for non-first-person shooters, and Bioware have always made third-person games, so it makes perfect sense that they would not want to work with Frostbite ever again, which was a genius move by Bioware, because it just makes perfect sense, because they're more known for using Unreal Engine. So, finally, EA finally, you know, woke up and actually let Bioware choose what engine they want to use for their games, which I don't know why they didn't before but is beyond me but whatever moving on from that so uh, before the full teaser was released there was like this little a archie thing that bioware was doing where it was releasing like three segments so we're gonna look at e each of them because all three of them are very interesting so let's get started the first one access code epsilon access code accepted secondary encryption detected vjbsvu you get the idea. Andromeda Distress Signal Detected. Year Sent. Redacted. Audio Transcript, although they should know by now, not to underestimate human. Redacted. Now, the quote there at the end, that's a reference to what Liara said to a guest at the end of last year's E's for N7 Day. So, that's very interesting to see that they're continuing on from that. Now, the Andromeda Distress Signal, that confirms what we already knew is that this new game is going to tie together the main trilogy and Andromeda. So, which is very interesting because I, I liked Andromeda, by the way. I think it was, I think it was decent, but was it as great as the main trilogy? No, no, it wasn't. But it, was it still a good game? Yes. So, the hate, to be honest, should be dead by now. For happy to hear that they're not going to just abandon Andromeda because that would, I think that would really suck. As Andromeda is interesting, the idea of it. So it's good to know, and not to mention, Liara has had contact with the Initiative before they left. As we all know, in reference in Mass Effect Andromeda, for those who played the game, you would know what I'm referring to. Anyway, continuing on from the first one, now let's go to part two. Access code, Arculon 2819 defines. Access code accepted, tertiary encryption detected, classified, review briefing material on official Alliance comms channels. Now the 2819 is interesting because if my memory serves me correctly, it would be taking place 600 years after the events of Mass Effect 3 and Andromeda, because both both those games took place in the 2100s. This game, seems to say, is in the 2800s. So 
Zero being alive makes sense because Asari, as far as I know, are one of the only races that can survive that long. And it's very interesting because regarding the whole guest thing from last year, from last year's tease, that is very interesting because now it comes to the question, which ending did Bioware choose or are they just ignoring any and just make it up as they go? So I don't know. Very interesting because with the story, obviously the guests wouldn't exist on the L. So kind of very interesting things to go around. So it's going to be very interesting to theorize about this whole thing as time goes on. Anyway, moving on to the final one. Warning. Access code accepted. Pulse Nebula. Warning. Security breach detected. Contest, contest Systems Alliance. So that brings in question the character that we see in the trailer considering there were an N7. Maybe that space station was under attack maybe by the by one of the antagonists that we're going to be running into in this game. Or insane twist, the N7 are the villains of the game, you know, kind of like how Cerberus. So we could have an enemy human, you know, enemy like how we did in 3. But who the, well, who the heck knows though? Tom will tell with that one, you know, so Tom will tell. But uh, anyway, we actually got official art for this new character as well as you can see here. Which you can see it, you know, the whole, the whole like coat thing, the N7. The new pistol from Mass Effect 3, I can't remember the exact name of it. So if anybody knows it, you know, write down in the comment section below so I can, you can refresh my memory, but you kind of get the whole idea, right? So clearly N7, yeah, they were in N7 gear. So maybe it's like some kind of new playable character we're playing as, unless it's a returning one that we just don't know about. But uh, you see the area right there on the lower bottom? Very interesting because that seems to be like a successor to Afterlife and what was another one? I can't remember. I forgot what, Purgatory, that was it. Now I just remembered it. Okay. Now let's take a deeper look so we can see what we gather from that part. As you can see here, we see a couple races in here, like Garrus's race, um, I think Angaria's in there. Looks like a Geth that's protecting maybe a, you know an Asari. We've actually seen the Angaria race from Andromeda as well. You know, Solus race, you can see that. Just various ones, so I have a feeling that people are going to be diving into this image for a while, so to see you kind of gather from what we can tell from this image, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about it for what we can gather initially, you know, from the face, but I'm sure there's probably more secrets out there. I mean, Bioware even said there's still secrets from the 2020 trailer that people still have not discovered yet, so it's going to be a long wait, so when do I think this new Mass Effect game will come out? I'm thinking 2027, honestly, so it's just right around the end of the generation, because you gotta remember though, according to Bioware's own words, as far as I can remember, the game is still in pre-production, and Dragon and would not be going to full production until Dragon Age Treadwolf released, and that game, Dragon Age, has been through some development hell, because I remember it was supposed to be announced as a live service, but after Anthem bombed, EA let Bioware pivot into making a single player game like it freaking should have from the beginning, EA, you freaking morons. But whatever, so as far as I know, as far as we all know, Mass Effect hasn't ran into that same issue yet, thank gosh, because Andromeda had a troubled development cycle, as we all know, with really the last two Bioware games, which Bioware, the Bioware that made the main trilogy is gone. Like, they're not, the, it's not the same Bioware, but, but, but I believe some of the former crew came back to work on this new Mass Effect game, so there is some hope, and one of the writers for this new game is from you know, Square Enix's Guardians of the Galaxy game, if you have not played that game yet, I highly recommend it. It is really damn good. It's phenomenal. It's really good, by the way. Anyway, enough of me singing that game's praises. But yeah, so there's, I guess, I know the theory going around is that maybe they have, maybe something at the Game Awards. Yeah, like, for them to go that much effort just for a 30 second teaser that's in engine, I guess, sure, you could have that, maybe, but with... We don't even have to see official gameplay of Dragon Age, so how would that even make sense for to see more on Mass Effect than Dragon Age? And I will tell, but you you can you never know with these kind of events, you know. So and the first look at Mass Effect was at the Game Awards, by the way, that CGI trailer. So I, again, who really knows though? But I think that's all I can say at this point. But if nothing at the Game Awards, well, I guess we'll have to wait till next year's in seven days. So we'll be doing this all over again. Hey. I was hyped as I got hyped as heck for the teas that we got. So, very interesting implications. I can't wait to see what happens with this new game whenever it decides to come out. And I'll be there day one when it does. So, that's all I can say. Anyway, 
What do you guys think of this, these new teas for Mass Effect 5 or whatever you're going to call it? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And consider hitting that sub button. I will definitely be covering Mass Effect in the future whenever we get news about it again. So until then, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, have a good one.